The date is May 7th, 2002, and Nelly's billboard topping hit, Hot in Here, is released and blasts across radios in sunny California. Meanwhile, a cow named Bessie grazes contently on the pastures of a central California dairy farm. Only one problem. Bessie's in the last trimester of her pregnancy as the hot summer looms, and her calf is beginning to feel the heat. Or in the words of Nellie, that calf is getting hot in here. When dairy calves are exposed to heat stress in late stages of their gestation, there can be severe and long-lasting consequences on the offspring. A dairy calf born under in utero heat stress is born earlier, smaller, and more immunocompromised compared to a calf born under thermal neutral conditions. What's more interesting is even two to five years after this initial insult, this heat stressed dairy calf has turned into a mature dairy cow that makes less milk. So why is this important? Well, milk is made by this organ right here called mammary gland that's composed of milk synthesizing tissue called parenchyma. Through a time series of organ harvests and cellular and tissue analysis, my research demonstrates that dairy cattle exposed to heat stress in late gestation have a smaller mammary gland with a less developed and slower growing parenchyma across their lifetime, from birth to maturity, leading to a reduced capacity to make milk. And why is this important? Well, beyond the obvious health and welfare concerns, heat stress is expensive. We estimate that this late gestation heat stress costs the U.S. dairy industry over $1.4 billion annually due to lower milk production. Beyond this, I see this as a concern because frankly, it's not going away. Climate change is no longer just a buzzword. In fact, the five hottest years on record in the United States have occurred in the last five years. And dairy farmers and scientists are in the unique position to both adapt to and provide solutions for climate action, starting with rising ambient temperature. But it's not all doom and gloom. My lab is investigating different forms of heat stress abatement, like shade, solar powered fans, and sprinklers, and we've proven them effective in cooling dairy cattle of different ages, stages, and climates. If continuous effort is made to sustainably and affordably cool dairy cows, particularly those in late gestation, I believe that in the future, maybe by May 7th, 2052, that dairy farmers around the globe will say, getting hot in here. So time to cool our cows.